John Lawrence is in Rochester where President Donald Trump is heading this evening. He joins us now with the latest. Hi there, John. Hey, John. Yeah, as you guys mentioned, he'll speak here this evening. He's going to address a crowd of about 250 people at the Rochester International Airport. But hundreds of others are outside. They've been showing up all day today, if not a couple thousand now at least, it looks like. They couldn't get inside for his speech, so they are now showing their support outside. I think the movement that he's created is phenomenal, and I think that the opposition he faces is detrimental to this country. Just four days before the election, Trump supporters are hoping for four more years for the president. Some came from other states just to rally. We came up here last night. We left around 12 and then drove straight through. So we've been following the Trump train, and we've been showing up at a lot of the events trying to support you know, the presidential campaign. At one point, the rally was supposed to take place at McNeil Steel in the town of Dodge Center, but was moved to Rochester and capped at 250 people to comply with COVID-19 guidelines. In a tweet, President Trump blamed state leaders for limiting the crowd size. I love President Trump. I love America. And, you know, I really want to would like to keep America great, and that's why I came. You can look at Trump's track record. He has a phenomenal track record. I think uh, his economy speaks for itself. For those not able to get inside, a jumbotron was set up for supporters to watch the president's speech. Just because he's kind of a goomba and, and a rich guy doesn't mean that he doesn't have the heart and soul of an American. Tom Blundell says he goes to Trump rallies to promote patriotism. He believes the president needs another term to fix Washington. There weren't just alligators in there. There was crocodiles, too. And they were Democrats and Republicans. And our country is really corrupt. It's a mess. And the president's campaign is calling this a Make America Great Again peaceful protest this evening. Again, he's scheduled to speak around 545 this evening. The president was in Green Bay, Wisconsin, making a little bit of a Midwest tour today before coming here to Rochester this evening, guys. All right. Thank you, John.